Hi everyone, I'm Allie Buckman with the Potomac Bead Company and I'm just doing a product spotlight today on one of the new items that we just got in and we'll be carrying as well as kind of expanding this line a little bit. These are Druzy Agate pieces and these in particular are oval cabochons and they are a 13 by 18 millimeter and then because they are a natural stone they're going to vary a little bit in height from up to a 6 millimeter down to a 4 millimeter in different widths. Again, these are a 13 by 18 millimeter, and we have them here in the aqua blue color, the sea foam, honey amber, pink, the crystal white, and the gold color as well. There's a number of different things that you can do with these agates, and the Druzy has that fun sparkle and shine right on the top. There's a number of different things that as soon as they came in, I decided that I wanted to do. One thing that I've done before with these Druzy agates, this is a larger one here. We'll be getting some of the larger sizes, but this one here, I just seed beaded a bezel around, and I'll also be doing that in a later video with this smaller 13 by 18 one as well. In addition to that, you can glue them onto an actual ring setting. You can use a bail and glue onto that as well. I would recommend E6000 glue when you're gluing that on. You can also put them on a post earring. If you would want to, you can put them right in the middle. That way they sit in the middle or hang down a little bit, putting them up at the top. You could also case them in with some wire wrapping or have fun doing a free form wrap. The nice thing about the natural stones and kind of that agate different shapes is that you do have some edges to grab onto if you wanted to use a wire to actually go around and bezel them. If you are bezeling them, this size in particular is pretty light, so you could get away with a 22 or a 20 gauge wire and you could do a free form wrap with those. Again, I'm gonna be doing some seed bead bezeling and going around some of these 13 by 18 Druzy cabs here and working with them. But if you are gluing them onto something, I would use some E6000 to do that. The back of the stone does have some variation already to it. If it is completely smooth, you may wanna take a little bit of a, um, a wire brush and scratch it up a little bit. That'll help with the hold with the E6000 onto either the bale or the ring setting or even in on the post earring here as well. The great thing about these is that every one of them is different. You can see kind of a really big variation between the sea foam here and the honey amber in the difference of thicknesses, as well as some have those awesome little craters in it. I like that look. I think it helps to show that natural look to it. And some of them are more flat. So really it's going to depend on the stone as far as what exactly they look like. But pretty, pretty much they are a 13 by 18 when you're thinking of what pattern you're going to do with them and to use them as well. Again, we will be expanding this product line a little bit in the future, adding some bigger, smaller, and some different shapes as well. So stay tuned for more of the fun with the Druzy Agate cabs here and look forward to some videos that we're gonna be using to bezel them in and to work with them as well. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, Product Spotlight, lights as well as videos on how to actually work with some of the different products that we have. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel and you'll get those updates. You can also join us on Facebook and you can request to be part of our beading and jewelry making Facebook group. You can also visit our website potomacbeads.com and we're happy to kind of navigate you through there whether or not you need to purchase online or if you'd like to go to any of our retail locations you can go and check those out there as well so have fun playing around everyone hope you guys like these new little druzy agate cabochons as much as i do and stay tuned for some more videos